In Linfen, China, the air has gotten so polluted that if you were to hang your laundry outside, it would turn black. How could a country possibly get this polluted? It all comes down to how toxic the environment is. In some areas of the world, the environments are breathtaking and beautiful, and in others, everything seems run down and sad. In this video, we will be going over the top 10 most toxic places in the world. Watch until the end to learn all about the top 10 most polluted countries in the world and how they got that way. Number 10. Chernobyl, Ukraine An experiment was conducted on the night of the accident to measure the turbo-generated unit's inertial range, meaning they essentially measured something in the electrical control unit. The fuel started to overheat during testing, and this caused the surface of the generator to be damaged. Two major explosions occurred at the power plant within a minute of the experiment. Inexperienced employees and outdated systems caused the explosions. Consequently, the radiation that polluted the air was 100 times more than what was released from the Hiroshima and Nagasaki nuclear bombs. The polluted air poisoned plants and crops, so there was a shortage of food, leading to malnutrition. Also, because of the polluted air and lack of nutrients, plants could no longer grow under these conditions. The plant roots absorbed the toxic pollution and trees and shrubs dried up and or changed colors and decreased in size dramatically. The contamination which contributed to fish mutations even polluted ponds, lakes and rivers. This has also reduced the availability of water for animals and humans. Because of the high levels of radiation exposure, animals in the region have had difficulty reproducing. Most of them would have serious birth defects if they reproduced. Two heads, many, extra arms, missing eyes, deformed faces, etc. Throughout the animals, several genetic mutations continued to transfer. Because of the inability to replicate in plant and animal species due to radiation exposure, this puts a restriction on biodiversity. Number 9. Dzerzhinsk, Russia Home to the largest chemical production site of the Soviet Union, including chemical weapons, Dzerzhinsk reveals the scars. Between 1930 and 1998, an estimated 300,000 tons of chemical waste was inappropriately disposed of in and around the city. Water samples taken in the city in 2007 showed levels of dioxins and phenols that were thousands of times above the recommended levels, something that led Dzerzhinsk to be named as the most contaminated city on the globe that year by the Guinness Book of World Records. Toxic phenol concentrations have contributed to elevated levels of skin, lung and kidney disorders and cancers. A 2006 survey found that in the city, which has a population of 245,000 people, life expectancy was 47 for women and 42 for men. Stay tuned to hear about La Oroya, Peru, where kids' blood levels are extremely high. Number 8. Cabway, Zambia A devastating example of lead contamination is given by Cabway, Zambia. As of 2010, the fourth largest city, with a population of about 200,000, was once the site of prominent lead and zinc mining operations, and since the 1970s, the pollution issue has attracted attention. While the mine was officially closed in 1994, in a dumping site adjacent to residential areas locally known as Black Mountain, mining residues were abandoned and continued to contaminate the surrounding areas through the flow of wind and water. Cabway is currently listed as one of the world's 10 most contaminated places and the health conditions of the inhabitants are alarming. Scientists from the University of Hokkaido and the University of Zambia have shown that Cabways have very high blood levels of lead and cadmium toxic heavy metals as well as clinical signs of lead and cadmium toxicity. Number 7. La Oroya, Peru Lead is the contaminant that most often appears on the list of blacksmiths because the toll it takes on kids can be so devastating. 99% of children have blood levels that surpass reasonable limits in La Roya, Peru, a mining town in the Peruvian Andes, thanks to an American-owned smelter that has been polluting the region since 1922. The average lead level was triple the World Health Organization's cap according to a 1999 study. Even after the smelter's active emissions were reduced, the spent lead will remain for centuries in the soil of La Roya and there is currently no attempt to clean it up. The source of this extreme pollution is from heavy metal mining and processing. Stay tuned to hear about Norilsk, Russia, where a tiny diesel fuel spill ruined the whole environment. Number 6. Linfen, China 
In China's inland Shanxi province, Linfen, this suit-blackened city, makes Dickensian London look as clean as a natural park. The heart of China's coal belt is Shanxi, and the hills around Linfen are filled with mines, legal and illegal, and burning coal fills the air from automobiles and industrial emissions. Don't bother hanging your laundry. Before it dries, it'll turn black. China's State Environmental Protection Agency claims Linfin has the worst air in the region, which says something given that 16 of the 20 most polluted cities in the world are Chinese, the World Bank has confirmed. One Linfen native summed up the city's plight to a Time reporter last year. This place of ours is no good. Imagine how painful it would be to live in a place where it constantly smells like burning fire. Number 5. Mai Lu Su, Kyrgyzstan more than 10,000 tons of uranium ore were produced and processed by the Zapadny Mining and Chemical Combine in Mailusu, Kyrgyzstan from 1946 to 1968, mainly to supply fissile material to the USSR's nuclear weapons program. Radioactive tailings that were generated in the process were deposited near geological fault lines around the area without taking into account the hydrogeological conditions or the local population's health. Higher rates of cancer, typhoid fever, and birth defects have resulted from polluted water. Cancer epidemiological research conducted at Mai Lu Su between 2006 and 2015 found that during this time period, 197 people died from cancer and 235 new cancer cases were diagnosed in the region. They discovered bacteria that causes typhoid fever in the water in December 2014 when scientists from the Institute of Medical Problems examined water samples from the river. In December, it is rare for this bacterium to be present, as it is normally only found in the warm seasons. Scientists at the Institute of Medical Problems believe that the river water is warmed by radioactive elements and keeps bacteria alive, even in the winter. Number 4. Norilsk, Russia Over 20,000 tons of diesel fuel leaked from a company-owned power plant storage site on May 29th in Norilsk, Russia. The fuel seeped into the soil in the surrounding rivers, contaminating the fragile environment in the area. Nornikel and local officials then tried for several days to hide or downplay the case. Russian President Vladimir Putin then eventually declared the situation a national emergency during a video conference call on June 3rd, and the Ministry of Emergency Situations sent staff to the city to help out. Nornikel leader Potanin promised this company would pay the bill for the cleanup in a later conference call with Putin. He pledged the equivalent of 127 million euros, equivalent to around 155 million dollars, to finance the undertaking, an astronomical sum by Russian standards. The massive diesel fuel leak caused air pollution, biodiversity loss, soil contamination, deforestation and loss of vegetation cover, decreasing water quality and other environmental impacts. Stay tuned to hear about Tianjin, China, the region in China which accounts for the most lead production and lead poisoning. Number 3. Sukhinda, India Staff at the chromite mine in Sukhinda, India are regularly exposed to polluted dust and water. Popular diseases include gastrointestinal bleeding, tuberculosis, and asthma. It has also resulted in miscarriages, birth defects, and stillbirths. Acute health issues in the region are reported by the ERISA Voluntary Health Association, sponsored by the Norwegian government. The OVHA estimated that 84.75% of deaths occurred due to chromite mine-associated diseases in the mining areas and 86.42% of deaths in the surrounding industrial villages. The survey report determined that the worst affected were villages less than one kilometer from the sites, with 24.47% of inhabitants found to suffer from diseases caused by pollution. In the state of Orissa, Sakinda Valley comprises 97% of India's chromite ore deposits and is one of the world's largest open-cast chromite ore mines. Without any environmental protection plans, 12 mines continue to operate and over 30 million tons of waste rock is scattered over the surrounding areas and the Brahmani riverbanks. Number 2. Sumgayat, Azerbaijan Sumgayat was a major Soviet industrial center in Azerbaijan that housed more than 40 industrial and agricultural chemical manufacturing factories. This contained rubber, chlorine, aluminium, detergents, and pesticides that were synthetic. 70 to 120,000 tons of toxic emissions were emitted into the air annually while the factories remained fully operational. Industry has left the city heavily polluted, with the focus put on maximum low-cost development at the expense of environmental and occupational health and safety. 
For many decades, factory employees and residents of the town have been subject to a mix of high-level occupational and environmental contamination concerns. During the Soviet period, Sungait had one of the highest morbidity rates and the legacy of sickness and death continues. A joint study conducted by the UNDP, the World Health Organization, the Ministry of Health and the Republic of Azerbaijan, and the University of Alberta found that Sumgayit residents experience intensely high levels of both cancer morbidity and mortality rates. In the rest of Azerbaijan, cancer rates in Sumgayit are 22 to 51 percent higher than normal incidence rates. Cancer mortality rates are 8 percent higher than that. As a result of underreporting, evidence indicates that lower recorded cancer rates are flawed. A high percentage of babies are born with genetic defects like Down syndrome, anencephaly, spina bifida, hydrocephalus, bone disease, and mutations such as clubfoot, cleft palate, and additional digits. Number 1. Tianying, China In Anhui Province, Tianying is one of the largest lead production bases in China, with output accounting for half of the total production of the region. Several serious cases of lead poisoning in the area have been caused by low-level technologies, illicit activities, and the lack of any serious pollution control measures in enterprises. It is also thought that in the region there are several small-scale recycling plants which are infamous for polluting. Lead manufacturing companies in Tianying have been forced by local citizens and officials to shut down their operations as a result of these indiscriminate activities. Lead poisoning and its associated effects are reported by residents, particularly children. Lead encephalopathy, lower IQs, shorter attention spans, learning disorders, hyperactivity, impaired physical development, hearing and visual issues, stomach aches, colon discomfort, kidney failure, anemia, and brain harm. Numerous reports of premature births and younger, underdeveloped babies have been reported by pregnant mothers. Were any of these places predicted? Do you think some weren't doing the right thing in the first place? We hope this video inspired you to throw waste in the right place because it's the least you can do to help prevent your country from turning into a polluted dumpster. Make sure to comment your thoughts and stay tuned for the next Top 10.